money influenced uh, power corrupts. You know, like Ecclesiastes 7 and 7 says, a gift destroys the heart. Money influenced uh, power corrupts. Atina is not, is not mentally capable of dealing with a young woman. That's why I said earlier, there was no such thing as boyfriend, girlfriend. Okay? Just at the age of 20 and up is when, when you read the scriptures, our people got married. 20 and up. Not these young ages where you're emotionally immature. That's, you don't know how to handle an argument or something. Ah, you want to fight, you want to hit her. That's not how you deal with it. But you got to be taught that. And that's starts from young. And then when they get to that marriageable age to get married, they're emotionally and mentally able to deal with a spouse. You understand that? How do we like fix this situation? Again, uh, watch this. I'm going to go to Ephesians. See, I keep going to scriptures, but I'm telling you, this is the answer. The Bible is always the answer for our people. When you go to the book of Ephesians, okay? Now, I'll call this what I read earlier in Psalms, but watch this. It's Ephesians 4.24. 423 and be renewed in the spirit of your mind it starts here you have to be able to sit down and study pray apply god's laws that's where the chain comes I we like tell the young apply women, part I huh? like the apply part which yes. is very important apply apply and, and, and that takes time like many of our young men and women that come from a same-sex relationship or lifestyle they should not be getting married right away they need to wean themselves off of that for at least, a, my opinion, it's opinion, five years, okay, of studying, praying, applying. A abstain from all sexuality until your mind is converted to the Word of God. Now you're somewhat mentally able, spiritually able to deal with the opposite sex. Because you grew up in a lifestyle where you had a disdain for the opposite sex. And that, comes, that takes time. How do you, because as a man of power, right? How do you keep your ego in check? And how do you keep your sexual urges under control? <laughs> Listen, I'd be a liar if I ever said them. You know, we all get them thoughts. But you, through studying, praying, and applying, keeping your moral compass pointed north, you gotta, it's a constant fight. It's a consistent fight. Uh, women come around you. Hey, how you doing? They want to touchy feel. They want to have counsel. And I always tell a young men, Never have a counsel one-on-one -on -one with a female. Have women in there, senior women of age and older brothers. Why? Because I'll give an example. You one just years ago, a long time ago. So, Bishop, can I talk to you? Uh, what is it, sister? Um, is it okay if I use the shower head to uh, masturbate myself? I'm like, whoa, 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 why are you talking to me about this stuff? She gonna say, uh, brother, so and so is the uh, father of my child. You know they want to take pictures with you, and then she put the baby on that brother. And when they took the test, it turned out he wasn't—he never had any sexual contact with her. Atina is not is not mentally capable of dealing with a young woman. That's why I said earlier there was no such thing as boyfriend girlfriend. Okay, just at the age of twenty and up is when when you read the scriptures, our people got married.
A prospect that once delighted you, bringing little princes and princesses into the world. The greatest honor for a queen. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha Ha Kwadash. And double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, you fellow believers of this faith. And shalom to the elect. So anyway, um, I guess I'm going to start uh, with this video with the Bishop Nathaniel and his Christian take as a, a being a Hebrew Israelite. As I said, this has to be one of the most deceptive camps because they merge Christianity and the truth. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to read a lot of scriptures, but I'm probably going to go to some Google, right? I go to some online etymology, you know, various, and just some sources and just some common sense. That makes sense, right? So anyway, he says that you have to be 20 years old to get married. I don't know if he's quoting in numbers one about about the men going off the battle, but I don't think he understand that a grown man in the ancient times could marry a 13, 14 year old woman if she was 12 and in puberty. We're going to show you that too. It's all over Google. It's the truth. It's just out there. Uh, any one of you, any one of you who are emotional and you might have a daughter and you're you getting bothered by this, then turn off the video at this point. Because <laughs> you're not going to like what I have to say. Okay? But it's the truth. Now, we don't condone grown 40-year-old men trying to marry a 12, 30-year-old uh, young woman. As, you, uh, as Romans say, you got to follow the laws of the land anyway. So, this is part of the punishment in itself. So, I'm going to read Deuteronomy quick. I'm going to read a scripture real quick. And, um... Then we're going to take off from there and go into other literature or whatever. Deuteronomy 22 and 28. If a man findeth a damsel that is a virgin. So now you see two different words here. Uh, a virgin could mean a young girl or someone who hasn't uh, been touched. With Clearly here, when you see damsel, it's both. Right? It's a young woman that hasn't been touched which is not betrothed and lay with and lay hold of her and lie with her and they be found. Let's see what the 29th verse says. Um, then the man that lay with her shall give uh, unto the damsel's father 50 shekels of silver. Now we went into this about the taking doctrine, the, the um, which they say the rape doctrine or whatever. But according to the Bible, right? And they'll say it in other contexts. If the crime is committed, then you would give the damsel's father 50 shekels of silver because then um, what good is it at that point? You lock them up or you hang them and castrate them, but she liked it. Then what, what do you do then? Now, how does she move on into the new relationship? And that's what caused uh, the mindset of what you see today, right? You have these Eves that want to make their decisions of who they want, and because they look good, but then when it gets to the next level, it doesn't work out. So they want to get rid of them and then go to the next man because they're not doing what they want them to do. So you see the confusion. And this is why the Lord said that all these curses was going to come upon us. Now, we're going to go into um, maybe look up some words, I guess. Deuteronomy 22 to 28. Um, damsel, um, it means a girl. Damsel right which we got to go into what is called puberty so let me read a couple of um, um you can even look up what the word puberty means it's not it's not like it's the hardest thing in the world to look up and understand so we're going to look here at one site this is this is where we know this is making sense this is google i didn't even have to pull up the article or nothing i asked the question how many eggs does a girl have at the age of 13? And really, when you want to get down to the nitty gritty of it, Bishop Nathaniel says you're supposed to get married at 20. I hear people say the age of consent is 18. How do you determine who's mature enough at what time and what age to do what needs to be done? 
you can't say every person that's at age 18 is mature enough to handle any situation or 12 or 13 or 14. This is why you have a moon cycle. This is why a woman has what you call a period, a moon cycle. When it's her time is ready, her time might be 12 years old. One, another woman might be 13. Some even do it earlier. But even though they do it earlier, they're not come to full cycle yet. So this is why the age was normally 12. If it happened 11, yeah, but they would still wait till around 12 or so. Then you had 13 and some happened at 14. Some happened as young as 9. So according to the moon, right, this is why you have what you call a monthly cycle. Now it says here when a girl, this is not even 12, when a young lady, you know when you go to school, if any, any of you been in middle school, elementary, and them, them young girls at, at 12, 13 years old, they would say, young ladies, keep walking. Keep a single file, young ladies. And they would march them down the hallway. Why are they calling them young women and young ladies? Because they are. Anyway, it says when a girl reaches puberty, right, she has between 300,000 and 400,000 eggs. Think about that. Yet with the monthly loss of oocytes, oocytes slows down. Uh, let me see what that is. You think about that, though, right? A young girl, young woman, because now she's puberty, she reached full maturity, all right? And she might not be fully matured at that point, but she is of age of, or you could say maturity. Yeah, that's what it is. It says a cell in the ovary which may undergo meiotidic divisions, a form of oxum or whatever it is. I'm not going to go into that. But we're going to go ahead and say here, 300,000 to, 300, to 400,000 eggs. We know with an animal, you can have a dog or a cat or any other kind of animal. Their, their age of maturity depends on when their cycle is ready for them to do what they do. This is the same thing with humans, the same thing with us. Some women might not be ready at 11, 12, uh, 13, 14. Some may be even ready at 16. But as I put the clip in the movie, when you was promised to somebody, hey, that's what it was. So anyway, it says 300 to 400,000 eggs. Now let's see if this makes sense. By the time you hit 20, <clears throat> you got now to 150,000 to 300,000 eggs. To the time of 30s, you got 100,000 to 150,000 eggs. The late 30s, 27,000 eggs. So you've passed your prime. So now let me say, does this make sense? Does it make sense for a 20-year-old woman, 18 even, 19, 20-year-old woman, now if she wants to be 20 in this day and age and get married and have children, yeah, okay. But does this make sense according to nature? 20 years old, 150,000 eggs, and 30 years, it drops to almost half in 10 years? So you mean to tell me her time for reproduction is only about 10 to 15 years? <laughs> How is this making any kind of sense? You might think that's a long time. But as far as reproduction is concerned, because every time you lay with somebody, you're not going to get pregnant. So there's a time cap. They're putting a time cap on, on uh, marriage. Right? This doesn't make sense. So when you look up this word puberty, let me see if I have it up. Puberty means, right, and we just read here, um, when you go over here, let's see what it says, 2028, 20, let me look here, a damsel female servant, a marriageable age, a young woman. So, um, let me read here real quick. It says, prior to industrial the Industrial Revolution, women around the world were often married at an early age. So we can clearly see that this, this is something new, right? Usually soon after reaching pu puberty. These practices were carried over well into the 19th century, and we're going to get into that too, in societies with large, largely rural populations. So now we got to look up the word puberty. Puberty is a condition of being able to reproduce sexually. That's what puberty means. Now, the Bishop Nathaniel says, 
well, you, you know, you're not mature enough to make decisions and you don't know what's going on. The whole purpose for a young woman, let me jump, let me jump forward again and then I'll get back to that. It says, I asked, how old was Isaac, right, when he took Rebecca? Uh, it says here, since Isaac was 26 years old at the time and 40 26 year old and 40 when he married Rebecca, right? This is what it said. She thus, uh, Genesis 25 and 20, thus 14 years old when she married. So today's society, he'd be a pedophile, ped pedophile, right? But according to then, that wasn't the case. The whole purpose of when an older man married a young woman, they would grow together. That's why you had the uh the bride and then you had the groom or the groom and the bride you groomed the bride that's what that was all about so the young woman this is why young women today like a lot of older men the grooming process which the society has an issue with if a if an older man she pleased the dealt with an older man and she was a younger woman he groomed her to like what she liked but of course sexual liberation and feminism kind of changed all of that just saying to the point so anyway puberty means the condition of being able to reproduce sexually in maturity so when we go back here i'm gonna read the book of titus 2 and 4 it says that uh because at the end of the day the reason why the young women don't know how to be young women because at the age of four and five you didn't gave them dolls and you uh had them play with um, my, uh, microwave ovens, fake microwave ovens, which was really geared towards you learning how to have children. This is why they gave little little girls at six years old, they always want baby dolls. Why is that? At least in my day they did. I don't know about now what the hell they want. But they had dolls. They had those little microwave ovens or those little toaster ovens that was fraudulent. I mean, you know, they was like, you know, toy ovens, you know? But what they're teaching and putting in the mindset of people today, of course they're not going to grow up. You know, at a certain age, they should be in the kitchen knowing what to do and how to cook and things like that. Well, today they're just taking them to McDonald's. <laughs> That's all they do now. Anyway, Titus, again, it's that liberation. It says the age woman, likewise, that they be in behavior and become of holiness, not false accusers, not giving too much wine, uh, teachers of good things, that they may be able to teach the young women to be sober and to love their husbands uh, and to love their children. Or, well, to love their children, what well, we see what's happening now, to be discreet, chaste, keepers at home, good, obedient to their own husbands and to the, the word of God, Yahweh may not be blasphemed. So the reason why we're in the condition we're seeing now, because we are under utter, utter curse, right? You know, no, we're under utter curse. So this man, Bishop, is saying um, you have to be 20 years old, right? Everybody have to be 20. How do you determine who's mature enough to be married and who isn't? And in a society today where there's so much divorces and sicknesses going on, is anybody uh, really qualified to be a husband or wife in this day and age, especially when society gives the, the, the wife the ability to divorce you and move on at any, at any moment? So anyway, so it doesn't make sense that you have 300, 400, almost a half a million eggs at 13 years old, but in your 20s, you got 150,000 eggs. Make that make sense. Why did the Lord do that? Did the Lord make mistakes? And another issue I'm having, I know when I was in school, everybody wants to try to cover it up. When I was in school, I got excited about seeing the young women. The young women would get excited by seeing the men. And they put you both together with hormones kicking back and forth, doing exactly against nature. We was trying to use nature, but, they, you know, you was going against nature telling these young men and women they couldn't do this and do that. And it was always them little girls wound up getting pregnant. And they would, the teachers would always say, oh, they're hot in their ass. What, what, what was wrong with that? that? That's nature. You can't change what nature is set up to do. 
you know they have movies like that the, uh, the blue lagoon in certain movies you take you take two teenagers and throw them on an the island and watch they 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 may not know what to do at eight years old but watching due time they she winds up pregnant i guarantee it she gonna wind up pregnant so now i looked at this word damsel it means a young unmarried woman especially a maiden of gentle birth right so you can be very young okay uh, from the earlier damsels um, that's pretty much on that uh, maiden uh, applied to unmarried women okay we got that so we go to lady and then we go to young it says young lady a youthful young recent new fresh this is why it says a damsel right and virgin recent new fresh that's when your life actually starts especially as a woman that's when it starts when puberty hits now you're ready but now there's so much confusion that i've, I've even heard stories of the, the 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 woman the mothers buying their daughters uh special devices to cure them to, to take the heat off of them right so they can Stay, so they can stay cool so now we can clearly see that you're robbing nature you're actually going against nature this is what's happening why in the name of you know not Jake making children we know where it all comes from man we know where this all comes from so we go to a girl and it says here a girl a damsel a female servant or a young woman, marriageable young woman, concubine and a prostitute. This is in the Blue Letter Bible. And some people, some of you will see all the evidence. It's all over Google. It's all in the Bible. It's, you know, the scriptures in 1 Corinthians 7 to 26, talking about the uh, passing a flower of her age when she reaches puberty. Even Yahawashi, the one you call Jesus, they call the young boy. The young boy lad. He was 12 years old. And he went to do his father's business. It wasn't that they was hunting for him because he was a lost child, right? They were watching over him because you still had to watch over him. But he was saying, hey, I, wanted, uh, I want to do my father's business. They didn't know where he was going. He didn't let them know. That was the problem. And he said, I'm going to do my father's business. Because even when you were 12, you were still... You know, you were still being watched over certain things, but you were still considered a man at that point. You know, you were still considered a man. And you were being groomed to be a man. But in this society, what are they giving little boys, man? Rap music, toy guns, <laughs> you know, GMO foods, McDonald's. There's all kinds of crazy stuff, man. It says here, in 1929, the age of consent of marriage of sexual intercourse was raised to 16 years old. Wait a minute. In 1929, it was raised to it? Sounds like somebody is selling out. That's what it sounds like to me. You're trying to keep the, the Roman Catholic doctrine to keep the children of Israel oppressed, man. And these blind followers follow it. And females in the age of 1970, the age of majority... Right? And it says, and the females, right? And males. Then it says the age of majority was lowered from 21 to 18. So just because you were 20, 21 years old or 23 years old couldn't mean you didn't you didn't have sex with a younger woman. That's the whole point. Anyway, I hope this lesson was edifying.